popliteal artery aneurysm. The aneurysms of the popliteal artery can occur in isolation or may be associated with other large vessel aneurysms like an abdominal aorta or aneurysms of the femoral artery. Generally, these popliteal artery aneurysms are often diagnosed as a result of screening tests or other imaging studies in patients who do not have an obvious symptoms of vascular diseases. But when symptoms are present, they are due to a variable degree of lower extremity ischemia or the symptoms which are associated with lower extremity ischemia that can include the claudication, distal ischemia due to chronic embolization or acute limb threatening ischemia may be because of thrombosis of the aneurysm or acute thromboembolism. So, even when these symptoms are present in majority of the cases in such conditions only the symptomatic popliteal artery aneurysms can be diagnosed better. Otherwise, these are diagnosed accidentally if they are asymptomatic. And these popliteal artery aneurysms also predominantly seen in males that is in greater than 95 percent of the cases there will be a male gender predominance. And if we discuss about uh, epidemiology, the popliteal artery aneurysms are the most common true peripheral aneurysm. This is what they will ask you in the exam. What is the most common true peripheral artery aneurysm is the popliteal artery aneurysm. So, these are seen more commonly or more frequently than femoral artery aneurysm, but less frequently than abdominal aortic aneurysms. But in general, if you see in the exam, this is what they will ask you in the exam related to popliteal artery aneurysm. What is the most common peripheral artery aneurysm? Your answer should be popliteal, right? But in general, what is the most common true like aneurysms, which means abdominal aortic aneurysm? In general, what is the most common vascular aneurysms means again your answer should be abdominal aortic aneurysm. So, this is how generally you will see questions in the exam. For example, if the popliteal artery aneurysm is symptomatic, how you will see the clinical presentation? So, the clinical presentation actually ranges from the findings of an asymptomatic pulsatile popliteal mark to acute limb threatening ischemia. The symptoms may range from like uh, asymptomatic to symptomatic. This is how the clinical presentation generally we will see in vast majority of the cases. So, how can we manage such kind of aneurysms? Especially not only the popliteal artery, any aneurysm can be best managed depending upon the clinical presentation as well as the size or in general we can say the length as well as diameter of the aneurysm. In the same way, the popliteal artery aneurysms can also be managed depending upon the clinical presentation, size of the popliteal artery aneurysm and also the presence of other aneurysms. Along with this, the patient factors and other collagen vascular diseases. So, all this can be seen and screened well thoroughly before diagnosing as well as managing such kind of aneurysms. But whatever may be the type in general these popliteal artery aneurysms can be best managed by surgical or endovascular repair right more commonly these are repaired by surgical or endovascular procedures so this is what we need to know about uh, the popliteal artery aneurysm